In this video, we're going to look at converting the graph of a polar curve where I have um, a function r of theta equals 6 cosine theta plus 8 sine theta to a graph in terms of Cartesian coordinates, in other words, to um, an equation that's just in terms of x and y. So let's remember what some of those um, conversion formulas were that we can use. So we know that x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. So I can say that x over r is cosine theta and y over r is equal to sine theta here. So I can say that r then is equal to 6 times cosine theta where I replace cosine theta with x over r and sine theta is equal to y over r. So I have this plus 8 times y over r. So notice that I can multiply both sides by r to clear those fractions. So I'm going to have r squared is equal to 6x plus 8y. So remember one of the other conversions that we had was that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So now I have x squared plus y squared is equal to 6x plus 8y. Okay. So we've answered the first part of this question. We've converted the equation to Cartesian coordinates, but we'd actually like to know um, what this curve looks like. So if you recall something that we saw maybe a while ago about the equation of a circle. So the equation of a circle has the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals radius squared equals r squared. This r that's over here means a, um, a fixed radius. It's different than this r of theta that I have over here on the left. So this is a circle with radius r and center um, h comma k. Okay, so I want to take what I have here and notice that I've got this x squared plus y squared. I have this um, 6x plus 8y. Maybe I could write this with completing the square and observe that it's an equation of a circle. Okay, so I've kind of given a hint that maybe it's going to be an equation of a circle. So I can write this as x squared minus 6x plus y squared minus 8y equals 0. And then I'm going to complete the square on each of those um, terms. So on the x squared minus 6x and on the y squared minus 8y. So I can say this is x minus 3 squared. So notice that x minus 3 squared would be x squared minus 6x plus 9. So that means I was like adding 9 to the left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and then also add 9 to the right hand side to keep this equation in balance. Plus y minus 4 squared. Notice that y minus 4 squared would be y squared minus 8x plus 16. So I'm going to, um, that means I'm adding plus 16 to the left, so I'm also going to need to add plus 16 to the right here. So notice that this polar curve here of r equals 6 cosine theta plus 8 sine theta um, is the same as the graph x minus uh, 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 25. So I can describe my resulting curve here as a circle that's centered at 3 comma 4 with radius 5. Okay, so that answers my question that I had there. Um, I'm going to make one other note. Okay, so I've got a little more room here now. So the note that I want to make is the following about sort of the general form of something that looks like this and how it corresponds to a circle. So if I have r is equal to 2a cosine theta, plus 2b sine theta, okay? This is going to describe, so this describes a circle of radius the square root of a squared plus b squared and center um, a comma b, okay? So that's actually a general kind of type of polar curve that we um, might run into. Um, I'll also note two special cases here that come up um, in a variety of problems here. So when b equals 0, then this simplifies to just r equals 2a cosine theta. Okay, So this is a circle with radius a, 
okay, because b would just be 0, I'd have the square root of a squared would be the radius, and the center would be a comma 0. Okay, so when you have r is equal to a 2a cosine theta, okay, that looks like this, roughly, for a graph. It's not a great circle. Let me try that one more time. And one more time. All right, that's a little better. Okay, so this is centered at a0 of radius a. Okay, when I would have um, a equals 0, okay, you're going to have r is equal to 2b sine theta. Okay, when a is 0, we have just the 2b sine theta piece. So this is a circle with radius um, b and center 0 comma b. Okay. So the first one there, that's that was symmetric about the y-axis. We're going to see that this one with r um, equals 2b sine theta is going to be symmetric about the, um, the y-axis there with center right here.